our next speaker, Sue Coach. Sue spent most of her life working in corporate America. The opportunity she had to learn and grow and be of service extended way beyond anything she dreamed of, thanks to the people who believed in her more than she believed in herself. When the world changed after September 11th and she was laid off, Sue was too scared to realize that she was about to embark on the adventure of a lifetime to discover and create her second act or encore career. She soon realized that she could share what she was learning with people who are facing or will face similar career change challenges. The world of work is rapidly changing. That can, be see that can seem daunting, but Sue believes this is the best time ever to invent work that serves the needs and desires of people in the 21st century. Career and life design coaching gives Sue the opportunity to help people bridge the gap from where they are now to where they can invent their own encore careers that include passion, purpose, and a paycheck. Please welcome Sue Coach. Thank you, Lane, and good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. First thing I want to do is present a little overview of my company. Some people have seen this before, but we've got a lot of new people, so I thought I'd really briefly hit it again. Um, the first facet here you see is mostly geared to career coaching, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a second. The second leg is Fresh Start. We've been hearing about that over the last few weeks uh, because of our upcoming course next week. And then the third piece kind of emerged, started emerging last year and is really blossoming this year. Some of you know I'm writing a book and I'm also uh, expanding out and doing some more speaking this year as well. So I'm really excited about those opportunities. Why do people hire a coach? Well, this is uh, the top five reasons based on a survey done by the International Coaching Federation. I want you to especially pay attention to the top bullet and the bottom bullet because on the next slide you'll notice something really interesting. What was the bottom bullet on the last slide is now the top bullet. And these are the top five outcomes that people get. And you'll notice that time management isn't on there. And I like that because I really feel like you can't manage time but what you really can manage is what matters. And what I see here is that these are the things that really matter to people and the results that they want to get. What's my role in this? Well, how many people in here think that my job is to fix people? <laughs> awesome, I've trained everybody, but might go pretty well. <laughs> that is not my job. My job is to help people close the gap in performance in whatever area matters to them. So if there's a gap, you've got to build a bridge. I help people build a bridge. And how I do it is through using some of these tools and these strategies that I'm showing here. So you're right, there is nothing on this slide about fixing people. And now I'm going to switch gears a little bit. Uh, some of you may have noticed on the earlier slides or as the boxes went around, I've rebranded and I've had some really great assistance from some people in this room, not the least of whom is Carol Sh Karen Schmedeke, who designed my new logo and my new business card. So if you didn't get them, please make sure that you uh, see me after the meeting and I'll give you the new cards. Why did I rebrand? Well, a lot of reasons, but the main reason is I had an epiphany this year that I've been coaching from the past, helping people escape from something, and that's kind of a big fear-based thing. And what I realized is, especially since September 11, people are starting to think about the world differently and what matters to them and how can they get more of that. And they really want to know, how can I live a fuller and more rich life? There's an urgency to life that I think didn't exist before 9-11 and some of the other tragedies that have happened in the last 10 years. So people are really looking with more urgency at the future. What can I get out of life while I'm still here? And so my passion is really helping people design an encore career. What is that? Well, it's a career that combines passion. What do you love? Purpose. What brings meaning to your life? And how can you get paid to do that? And the sweet spot is where all those three things come together. And um, who are my best clients? Well, here are the characteristics of the people. This is still cutting edge. So a lot of the people that are doing this right now are out-of-the-box thinkers. And I think if you listened to Teresa's presentation a week or so ago, for me, she's the epitome of my best client. Something happened 9-11, and she really started looking at her life again. So I think these are really my best clients, the people that really want to make a difference before it's too late. Who are my best referral partners? Well, obviously, you guys are. But in a professional realm, 
it's primarily these kinds of people. Anybody that deals with people who are in career transition or some kind of life transition, um, please refer those, those people to me and um, I would love to work with them. And I want to leave you one last thought. These, some of you have seen this picture before and I really love this picture because it reminds me to, uh, that, that life is short and that it's really about figuring out what the quality experience is that people want to have in their lives. And my biggest dream is to put that kind of a smile on as many faces as I can because I think quality experiences are the only thing that we can take with you. And that's my commitment to you and your referrals. Is I want to put that kind of a smile on your faces. Thank you.